on the way to the winning of the league just a week ago. He does take part in this Atletico lineup. He seems off to Chelsea, probably followed by goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois, who's three years on loan from Stamford Bridge, may well finish tonight. Ardo Turan hasn't made it, he misses out. Raul Garcia takes his place. David Villa is the only Atletico player who has won the Champions League before. He did it with Barcelona three years ago. Well, your former teammate. Absolutely, hero moments, this is what he lives for. You get players who get nervous and anxious in moments like this. It's such a huge occasion, but him definitely not. He has huge ambition. And tonight, you'd have to think that structure that Atletico Madrid have and the way in which they defend, that Ronaldo is the star quality, the star man who can unlock it. And Diego Costa, who was in tears a week ago, fearing his hopes of playing in this final were dashed. He at least starts. So there are two prime fitness issues to keep an eye on. So blue chip kick off against Alonso. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo ends up on the deck, but he rather ran into the defender. And even he's not appealing. No, I think that Javier Alonso in our studio mentioned. Diego Simeone has built. Oh, Carlo Ancelotti. For him playing instead of Pepe. Here's Benzema. And uh, here's uh, Thibaut Courtois. He's got to do better there, Benzema. It's a great chance. Has that ball out? You wouldn't have thought Miranda and Godin would be caught out by that type of cross. Di Maria. Again, it goes in early. Hamstring in a week. That's farcical, really. Mm. Aldo. Well, Garcia, he virtually doubled his career total of goals with his 17 this season. Really a utility man. Is good angle for Carvajal's cross. But it's well, you just wonder what to defend one here, taken by Modric. And it's not too difficult for Thibaut Courtois. And he's on the front foot, the goalkeeper. He's still going. Oh, it's a desperate lunge by Raul Garcia. Which he gets a yellow cut. What would be uh, in most matches, even a situation like that, would not provoke scenes of such animosity. The rivalry here runs very, very deep. Well, it might be cynical. And now the shot. And that was all. That's good goalkeeping. It really yeah. skipped up at Courtois. It was fantastic goalkeeping. Just got the feeling he was composed. It wasn't ten. Towards Raul Garcia and Sergio Ramos, who's been scoring them uh, five in his last six games at the right end for Real Madrid, and then he put one in the wrong end. On. I agree with the referee. So he waits, waits, comes out to uh, Javier Alonso, so kindly came to our studio. Champions League final in Glasgow. Started waiting to play in a Champions League final. It's a terrible ball by Thiago. He's given it to Gareth Bale of all people, and Bale goes all the way through. But doesn't deliver the coup de grace at the end of it. And lets Thiago off the hook. Oh, what a chance. Thiago got off the hook twice there. He gives the ball away. He could have been off here, Thiago. If you watch him here now, he makes a challenge just there now. He's Casilla started to come, and is it? Well, it's in, and it's given. Amazing! The set piece has done the trick, and Atletico Madrid are in Wonderland again. It was the most untidy goal that you're ever likely to see in a match of this magnitude. But for Diego Simeone, it's everything. Got in. A big moment on a big stage for him and for Atletico Madrid again. Oh, I think it's Luka Modric, doesn't get out. It's a broken line from Real Madrid as they try and clear the box and Casillas tries to come up and sweep behind it. Yes, his distance is all wrong. And you'd have to say... Another corner. Really? That's been a cameo of a fantastic season for Atletico Madrid in 45 minutes here in Lisbon.
The goal typical of that from Diego Godin. They lead Real 1. Well, Real Madrid, that pays dividends. Here comes the second half of the 2014 down. Almost slouched slightly. His body language didn't look great at half time. <laughs> well, I'll see it. You get that right in the Champions League final and uh, it's immortality. Yeah, well, again, the reaction. Yeah. Defending, that's uh, Mario Swan. The fitness of the Europa League last week was severe. And on the move here, oh, and that uh, for Miranda is a certain yellow. It wasn't quite getting into a clear goal scoring opportunity. And it's similar to the first half. A very similar position. The ball might go past, but you know, both centre backs in the centre of that wall. As much height as possible for Atletico Madrid. We're finally ready, or are we? Up steps Ronaldo. Oh, it's deflected. Courtois powers it away. Could have been worse in the corner for Atletico. It was deflected, but he didn't have enough pace on it. You think of Ronaldo's free kicks usually. Oh, but how? I almost misjudged that. Adrian goes on. Oh, well, one stride too many, maybe. He's the say sitting up here. Oh, you can say to Carvajal is well done for getting back. He made a mess of it. But it is a more height on it this time, and again uh, it is Ronaldo. But it's getting closer, and there's a bit of momentum for Carlo Ancelotti's team at the start of this second half. And in turn, it's lifted. It's a drop for Ronaldo. And let it go here. Diverted away. Marcelo will bring that energy on that left hand side. Isco for Perez from Trout got in when Marcelo was injured. In again. Adrian <laughs> deflected. It's similar to the ball at the drop from the Stamford Bridge in many ways. Coming uh, back across the goal at him. It's an important block from Kadira. As then he hit it into the ground. Crossing from wide left. And Ronaldo going in. He couldn't get enough on it, or a little bit less on it, and Benzema would have scored. Well, he had the run on Godin, Cristiano Ronaldo, just couldn't get to it this time, they're a bit higher up the pitch, in swinging, Godin's under the ball, Cristiano Ronaldo. And a shot from Isco, might have uh, used the crowd scene to his advantage. It would be a difficult one for Courtois, Cabby gets up to him quickly as it breaks back in. Benzema sort of half holds it up and pushes it back. Squeezes it through the leg. And it right on top of Ike Casillas. Marcelo, Di Maria. Moran got to it. Oh, it wasn't an easy one to keep down, even if you are Cristiano Ronaldo. The chances are suddenly starting to come, and he must be concerned, Simeone. Well, the game's opening up a bit. The supporters, as you look at this replay. Modric, Ronaldo. Bale! Lovely. Gareth Bale lashed it, but lashed it wide. Well, the speed of the play is better for Madrid. I said it a couple of moments ago. The pass from Luka Modric opens it up. Modric, having played it, goes in again! And he had to go for it. He's entitled to go for it. He's inviting. He does well this time, Casillas. He closes that space between him and Varane. You oh, can feel it. And Real Madrid will start to feel it. Mm. And here's Bale. He's going to feel it. He's away. Gareth Bale's in. No. Oh! Well, he's having the chances. We've got to put that down to a third one. Oh, you dream of these moments. He's one on one with Gooding. Gooding can't live with him. And you just wonder now, can he cut across him? Can he get the penalty? Can he square it to Benzema? There's no... Here's Marcelo. No one wants to shoot. Oh, and he's taking the goalkeeper out. Carvajal is there, the goalkeeper. Courtois this time is back in charge. Oh, great for it. The ball falls into his arms. Just talked about David Villa. Oh. It's Isco. And let it go, Madrid. It's last ditch. Got in there, react. This way to... Uh, Morata, who was so to takes. Casillas broke away another 30. He wants his fans up. He knows immortality, really. Five minutes. 
Oh, Sergio Ramos. Shame. Marcelo going in. Shouts for penalties. And uh, I think for one or two different incidents. Whip back in again. Oh, I cannot oh, begin Bale to going for that. Yes, oh. it is. What a header. Sergio Ramos. Unbelievable. In the nick of time, Gary Neville. You always get a chance. But you have to take it. He's trying to get them going, Simeone. But that is so tough. Carlo Ancelotti looks calm, but he's not. He can't be. All oh, the Real Madrid substitutes are on the pitch. Two in the semi-final. One in the final. And we're heading for extra time in Lisbon. Are we? We go on from it, and he just might let your guard slip. But it's not going to happen. It is extra time. Sergio Ramos to the rescue for Ica Casillas in particular and Real Madrid in general. The two Madrids, 1 1 after Real. <laughs> Xavi Alonso knows the game inside. Talk of the same way. Here's extra time with Gary and Martin. We've told them to get up. Still arguing between them. Gabby claiming that he got the ball, but he had to reach round. And the angle of approach led to the yellow card. And it's probably you know, the third time, is it now, that Cristiano Ronaldo's had a free kick? In this exact same spot. Finals. Ronaldo. And he's asking for the handball. He's asking for the handball. I thought it hit Gabby's head. I see now. Oh, he's right. So it's the corner of his elbow. Quite come out to Di Maria, doesn't quite drop for Morata. Well, the game hasn't changed in the first eight minutes of this first period of it. Again. Morata <sighs> couldn't get there, he might get there and almost. Well, he's trying to maybe get into the referee's head when we come to the next. Gabby takes. But he goes in. Who can hit them from distance. Uh, it was. Uh, the kind deflection, I think, took some of the pace off it for Thibaut Courtois. Opened up for him. Now the VRL broke. Di Maria. Oh, he's gone all the way here. And oh. Bale! It's Gareth Bale with the big moment. He scored the winner in the Spanish Cup final. He may well have done the same in the Champions League final for Real Madrid. Oh, it's a dream moment for Gareth Bale in his career. He's still calm. It hasn't happened for Gareth Bale tonight, but it's just happened big time. The biggest moment of his career, bar none. Looking like he's going to score the winner in the Champions League final. It's brilliant from Di Maria. The space that hasn't been there all night, the little shift of the feet. Courtois does brilliantly, but he's backing up. A little shift from left to right. Out comes Casillas, unwisely, Thiago. What is Casillas doing? He's not Courtois. He's never really been great at that in that situation, Ika Casillas. He doesn't need to come. There's no way. They want now. Uh, the majority in the stadium. And Marcelo cuts away through, and Courtois can't keep it out. It's the decima now. Atletico are broken. And Real Madrid, for the tenth time, are undoubtedly champions of Europe. Delight. He's been good, Marcello, since he came on. Brought some impetus down that left side. This is the shirt. He just breaks through. They're on the ropes.
and they're out with Atletico Madrid. And Courtois. Champions League trophy. That's a penalty. It is. It's falling apart for Atletico. Oh, four one is <laughs> four one would be harsh. But Cristiano Ronaldo, he wants that goal. He's been sent off as well, I think, has he? Or is it just a yellow card for Godin? And in his own country too. There it goes. It is 4-1. It looks like a rout. That doesn't tell the whole story. But when they needed to come on strong, they have been so, so strong. Too strong for Simeone. Zidane, who delivered the last success in 2002, plays his part as a coach in the jubilation. The comeback kings tonight. And he's had a tough evening personally. It'll end with a booking, but with a goal. And all the smiles in the world. After that shot with his top off at the CS. It's done. It's the tenth triumph for Real Madrid. Their decimal dream has finally become reality. Atletico still haven't got off the mark. Losers in Lisbon. But by the long route, Sergio Ramos was the rescuer and took it to extra time in the nick of time. Carlo Ancelotti can head off to a summer, including his wedding plans in Canada, knowing that he'd be Real Madrid's coach again next season. And at the tail of uh, the late goals, Gareth Bale, big one for the British eyes to see. Great for him. And Marcelo made such a big difference as a substitute down the left-hand side. And finally, Cristiano Ronaldo. It was a dream finish for him, too. A triumph in white after his red-letter evening in Moscow six years ago. Gary Neville. Well, the cameras are on him. He's the star. He wasn't his greatest night tonight. To his brother, a family man. The decima for Real Madrid. Finally, and very much all white and all right for them on the night.